Welcome to this week's edition of LBTV News. I'm Drew Rydberg and I hope everybody had a great spring break. I caught up with some students to see if they're ready to finish the semester. Wood Belleville just finished up spring break. And even though the break was relaxing and the weather is starting to warm up, I and many other students feel exhausted and unprepared for the rest of the semester. After taking a week off and class is starting to get harder now as time goes on because i got projects coming up, the motivation is not there after taking a week off and coming, coming back to it. I kind of feel kind of lazy right now. <laughs> it's horrible. I mean, I, don't, I just want the summer to come. I mean, it's like spring break. I was waiting for a spring break as a race, and now it's anything between like the summer and the end of classes. I mean, I think I'll keep it up there. Even with low energy, the students still plan to get through the semester by staying on top of their assignments. For me, it's make sure I stay at the library every day. I, just, I keep going, make sure I keep on my studies. If I say I'm not going to study today, then I'm not going to study tomorrow. It's just got to keep, keep at it. Yeah, maybe like not procrastinating as much, trying to get work done before time. I'm just trying to do everything in advance. It's not too much right now, but I know later on it's going to be a lot of tests and stuff coming up. So just preparing slowly. Reporting for LBTV News, this is Drew Rydberg. Usually graffiti is discouraged on the Linenwood Belleville campus. However, during the Make Your Mark event that Student Life has been doing since 2018, a Shayla Mathis was there to capture the moment. Students had the opportunity to permanently place a piece of themselves on Lindenwood's campus. The Make Your Mark hand wall event led by Campus Activity Board allowed students to place a quote next to their hand on the wall. So I asked, what quote they decided to place? Um, I put my hand and I write the same thing that I wrote down last semester. That is, um, I need to wash my hand now. And I put, I need to wash my hand now again. It's kind of a joke. So my freshman year, I did a quote with my best friend here. And it said, distance gives us a reason to love harder. So the quote that we did this year, I, also, I did it again with her. But this year we did, soulmates aren't just lovers because we are still loving hard. So we did it together again. And hopefully we do it every year that they do the wall. Seeing the chance, even I got in on the action. I'm Michelle Mathis reporting for LBTV News. One good way to relieve stress is by doing yoga. Shania Vialba went to check out the school's yoga class. Lindenwood Belleville, we have yoga classes every Tuesdays and Thursdays. I asked the instructor why she started yoga in the first place. Um, I began what I call movement at the age of four. I started um, formal dance training, ballerina, ballet, tap, jazz, acrobatics. I took um, 12 years of dance, um, really good formal dance. And so I've always moved my body. Um, in college, I did some running, I continued to move my body, became an aerobics instructor way back when we had high impact aerobics. And um, so it was probably in about 1997 that I um, became a f formal practitioner of yoga, as in the formal practice. And I became an instructor in 1998 and just have continued to teach since that time, um, just continuing to grow my practice as always, because it's a continuous practice, it's continuous growth. I also wanted to ask the instructor why she wants to do yoga at Lindenwood. Well, I think everyone should have some yoga in their life. It's, you can benefit from yoga even if it's five minutes a day. And remembering that yoga is an eight-limbed system. There's eight parts of yoga, not just movement, not just breathing, not just meditation. There's so many things involved in it. So when you are able to blend them all together, it just creates a more calm person, a really much nicer, happier, more joyful person. That's why I think it's really important that um, students are able to sit sometimes and just sit. Like for five minutes a day, just sit and let their mind rest. Because your brain needs break, breaks during the day. And um, your body needs breaks as well. And sometimes I have a feeling the students don't get to do that much. So um, it's just a great way to learn how to train yourself to slow down, focus, and then come back with just um, a different approach. 
This is Shania Vialba reporting for LBTV News. Wood Belleville provides counseling for students on campus. Pablo Martinez went there to go see what the Student Counseling Resource Center is all about. <clears throat> the Student Counseling and Resource Center, located at 2025 West Main Street, is open every weekday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I went there to know more about the services. We provide a variety of resources for our students here, uh, primarily around uh, mental health. So kind of a holistic approach. We will meet with students for academic counseling, for personal counseling, and we also offer group counseling services. So academic counseling, really it's something that, that I do, that I'll meet one-on-one -on -one with students if they're encountering any issues um, academically. So they're starting to miss their classes, their grades have dropped. Um, I work regularly with our Student Development and Resource Center on campus in order to do those reach out efforts for students. So um, primarily meeting with them, like I said, about anything that's going on with them academic. A lot of times that leads into some personal issues or something that's going on. Um, so that's another great and free service that we offer for our students here is personal one-on-one -on -one counseling um, that initially starts off at, as an intake session with our director, Dr. Ken Kubicek. He sits down and meets with all of our students who are new to coming in for counseling um, and we'll talk with them about basically what their needs are um, and kind of does an assessment with them and determines whether or not that they would be a good fit for us working with them here. Um, if they are, they can either continue to meet with him, uh, meet with myself, Dr. Kubicek and I are both licensed counselors, or they can set up a meeting with um, one of our interns, our graduate interns, who are at the conclusion of their graduate counseling program. Um, and then we offer group counseling services too. Um, that's something where we've offered men's support groups, women's support groups, um, and really putting out feelers to students if there's anything that they feel that they would like to meet in as a group, like conflict resolution, or we've sometimes had teams that have come in before and working on relationships within the team. Um, so we're open for having those kind of counseling sessions for our students as well. So we're actually working with our campus activities board um, in order to put on a week of activities in April. That will be April 22nd, 22nd through the uh, 26th in there, um, based on um, sexual awareness week is what we're gonna be doing. So a lot of events coming in and we're gonna be doing a, um, another open discussion on relationships during that week, along with many other different um, activities, and those will be coming out soon. And then that week ends on that Saturday um, with a walk a mile in our shoes that our public safety is helping to put on. I you know, firmly believe that if you take care of yourself physically, you should take care of yourself mentally. Your mental health is just as important, if not more important sometimes than your physical health. So. We all need somebody to talk to at some point in time. I feel like a bad kind of perception that people have is like, I only go there if something is severely wrong. And that's just not the case. We see many students that come in just because they're anxious about school starting or they're homesick or it can be anything that impedes them from being the person that they wanna be. So we always, always encourage students to come over and, and utilize our services here. This is Pablo Martinez, reporting for LBTV News. Earlier in March, Lindenwood Belleville hosted the annual Science Olympiad where students from grades 6 to 12 compete in science competitions. Clifton Kendrick and Stephen Rutledge host covered the action. On Saturday, March 9th, Lindenwood hosted the annual Science Olympiad where students from schools all around the area came to participate in different labs and experiments. So today is the third Lindenwood Regional Science Olympiad and Science Olympiad is a competition for high school and junior high school students to do all sorts of science competitions from building protein models to doing forensic detection to figure out who did a crime to doing some thermodynamics and heating up water with flames to see how hot they can get things and they're even doing events in the gym where they're flying airplanes the length of the gym. It's a very exciting event for everybody today. So I have been doing Science Olympiad since I was in high school. I participated for Collinsville High School way back in the early 2000s. 
and now we have been doing Science Olympiad here on our campus since 2017 and I've been a coach here running the event since 2017. Science Olympiad is a regional state and national competition so this is our regional event and the winners from this regional will go up to the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana for the state and then two winners from state will go to nationals so it's a full huge nationwide science competition. From LBTV this is Clifton Kendrick. Thank you for joining us in this edition of LBTV News. Spring is here so make sure you wear your sunscreen. See you next week.